Hello, hello, my name is Nick, a.k.a. Grizzly Mantis, and how, let's hop back into Standard for a bit, although I got some saucy Pioneer stuff brewed up this week, so hop onto my Twitch Tuesday, Thursday nights is when I usually stream my Pioneer. I know usually about it, that's when I do it. Uh, let's, let's focus on the task at hand, shall we? So, Knights. Actually, this idea, credit goes for this one to Monica. <laughs> She's trying to build a different deck. And she started to see the, I think it was Worthy Knight caught her eye. So she, I saw her do a search for knights. And I was like, started kind of picking around. She was looking at some blanks and stuff. And I thought, you know, man, I haven't seen one of these lists in a while. I wonder if it's still doing all right. Hey, you know what? One way to find out. So we got Mardu Knight. Let's go over this pretty quickly. A lot of these are stuff we know. We got Knight Leave on Legion. One of the best black one drops ever printed. Coincidentally, a knight. Doesn't really matter. He's really good. Fervent Champion, again, fits the theme. Awesome, played across the board. I love his lightsaber. Good times had by all, not to mention has the benefit of <laughs> working with a certain legendary equipment that happens to also be everywhere in the metagame. Uh, Worthy Knight, this one's a pretty nice little addition for those of us who love the army in a cans of the world. You know, the um, Hero of Precinct 1, Goblin Rabble Master, yada, yada, yada. Worthy Knight, whenever you cast a Knight spell, you get a 1-1 white human creature token. Not a bad deal for two. A pretty efficient little grizzly bear. Triggers off of literally every other creature in the deck. Black Lance Paragon. Nice little 3-1 with Flash. Lifelink and Death Touch actually comes into play pretty heavily. In worst case scenario, this guy's like an ambush viper. Kills their biggest threat. Pretty nice little dude. Stormfist Crusader. We got 2-2 two, two for two with Menace. Means he can he has to be blocked by two more creatures. And then this thing, nice. Now, I it's it's hits us both, but it does it during our upkeep. So each player draws a card and loses a life. I mean, this card is just such a great way to follow up. X number of threats. Hmm, I just thought of something, but we'll get back to it. Uh, Inspiring Veteran is our Grizzly Bear Lord. As most of these decks have a Grizzly Bear Lord. We'll see if he's good enough to be played. I mean, two twos are dangerous to be played right now, in all honesty. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Midnight Reaper, rounding out our knights with the ability to... Recoup any kind of card advantage or anything of that nature. Preps us for sweepers. And then Murderous Rider. Believe it or not, I didn't realize this guy was a knight. I knew he was a zombie and I knew about Swift End. But the fact that he's a knight, greedy. This one, I feel like this is very much a game one card. Circle of Loyalty. Uh, it's the legendary enchantment from white. Costs one less to cast for each knight you control. So best case scenario, this costs two white. It's an anthem. Creatures you control go plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a legendary spell, you get a 2-2 two -two white knight white knight the only legendary spell in the deck is ember cleave but yeah and then it can create white knights on its own with vigilance this one like i said i feel like it's a game one card it's there to make our stuff stronger when it needs to be generate tokens but it probably get boarded out 90 percent of the time i was actually debating between this and um unbreakable formation and then we'll get to unbreakable formation in a second and then so circling everything out, we have Ember Cleave. I mean, this, you got to run Ember Cleave. If you're running red and aggro in this format, you're running Ember Cleave. It's true for a lot of formats. Plus one, plus one, double strike. Card's money. Let's see if it works in the night shell. Uh, this is basically, I mean, oh, jeez. Oh, my glory. Let's get some castles in here, bro. What are you thinking? Uh, well, at least two of each. Probably at the expense of... Yes, I know, that seems a little dangerous. It does. But the cards are good enough. Ember, Ember the, because of the Worthy Knight alone. And then Lock Dwayne's just amazing because it's Castle Lock Dwayne. Yeah, I don't know how I forgot about that. And then, of course, Tournament Grounds. It's a Rainbow Land in this deck. Pretty sweet. That's pretty much the main deck in a nutshell. I mean, we're kind of an all-in aggro list, which I normally don't like. But hopefully we're good enough. You know, there's a lot of abilities hiding in between here that kind of mimic spells. So hopefully we're good enough at that to the point where we'll be all right. As far as the sideboard goes, I got our Agonizing Remorses, our Anti-Control Suites, like Agonizing Remorse, Unbreakable Formation, our Anti-Quick Aggro. We got Bone Crusher Giants, really great to get in the Mono Red matchup. Be able to take on two threats with one card. Uh, and then for our Big Greens, we got our Epic Downfalls and our Noxious Grasp. And anything can splash anywhere. Now, Unbreakable Formation, I mentioned this earlier. I like this card. For a while, it was Gideon Blackblade. I'm kind of going back and forth. I do like the idea of setting up, you know, if you're on the play, turn three, you drop your three drop, turn four, you hold up Unbreakable Formation for the Shatter the Sky or whatever it may be. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this probably should be Gideon, and it could be Gideon. I 
I just kept thinking like, all right, so turn four, we're gonna drop something. We drop Gideon Blackblade, very good, but the Indestructible only lasts until end of turn. With Unbreakable Formation, it can be a kill or it can be, you know, a, a counter to a Wrath. Circle Loyalty, I actually, these, I am debating if these should be Unbreakable Formation, but I mean, Circle Loyalty never gets any love. Let's give it a little love. Let's see if it does anything. I always write this card off. Let's see how it plays. So that's the deck. Let's hop into a little tournament and let's see what we can do. <laughs> Traditional standard. Sure. Give me some knights. Time to be a knight and do it right. All right, let's do this. It's kind of blocking me just a bit. So it's still over there. Yes, it is. Perfect. Oh, I am. I am ready. Bring it. Turn one sacred cat. <laughs> I like it. Turn one sacred cat. Ooh. Can't kill it because he can embalm it. No. I wonder what he's going to do. He's certainly not going to mardu. <laughs> Your nightly helping of cheese from old Mr. Grizzly Man Tease. A little more cheese, sir. Just a little more. Come on, Sacred Cat. Where you at? Alright, there we go. <sighs> of course I'm going to keep it, but I knew this was going to happen. It's like, what do I have? Four, eight, twelve white sources. I mean, you only need it for a handful of cards. The rest of the deck is essentially Rakdos. Swamp. Gutter Bones, eh? We're just going to go with Stormfrist Crusader and start trying to curve out without the white, I guess. Ow. This might be one of those rare matchups where I just want to cast... Uh... Holy cow! Oh, great. That's just what we needed to. Uh, sure. Jeez, this is going to hurt. I can't even trade with it. It's a freaking gutter bones. I'm actually just going to hard cast this Murderous Rider next turn. I hope he uses removal on this Crusader. I hope he does. And he did. Oof. Be down to 10? Out, out, oof. Ow, why? Let's go and pay to the mark. Let's go. Just play the murderous rider, dude. It's all we got. Jeez. Getting pounded. Huh. Oh, don't be another removal spell. Alright, that works. Gonna get in for two. Be the net gain here. Oh, so good, so good. Is that cheering at me? Nah, no attacks. All right, now we're just gonna start inspiring veteran, worthy knight. We're just gonna start doing stuff. That's about all we got going on. Oh, are we dead? Nope, we're at three. We're almost dead. I am gonna have to block. Yep. Uh... <sighs> Isn't that ironic? Don't you think? Are we dead? I believe we are. I believe we are. He's dead, Jim. No, actually, we're not dead. Far from dead. Unless he just rips another great merchant or a removal spell or one of a million things that could do something. Hindsight, it probably was greedy to play the Worthy Knight last turn, but if it resolves, or not resolves, but if it survives. Plus five. I can hit him for eight and gain eight. That's tempting, but. I'm at one too, so I can't. I don't even really want to play the Midnight Reaper. If he has a removal spell, I'm doomed. If he had a removal spell, is dead anyway, so I don't think that matters much. Attack for eight doesn't do anything. Let's go do this, and then we're gonna attack. Should I attack? Let's see, double block with his rider and gutter bones. He attacks back. 
Yeah, I think we got to. Yep. I need the life. I'll draw a card back down to three. And then we set up for the uh, Embercleave next turn. <sighs> not bad. Not good, but not bad. Hmm. Is there any way this can kill? It's probably like, I sense an Embercleave. What do I not want to die? I don't want to take two. Tagging with everything might have been dumb. Nah. What's the worst that could happen, right? If he has a removal spell, I'm pretty much dead no matter what. No, not my Midnight Reaper. Bring it. Now we're on a clock, buddy. We're on a clock, so I can't do that. So, hmm. Well, we can only attack with things that survive. Otherwise, we die to the Midnight Reaper. So, well, we can attack with the tokens too. So let's see. We gotta attack with this guy. We gotta attack with this guy. We gotta attack with this guy. And let's see, double blocks. I take one. I'm down to one. Yeah, that's it. I might just die to my own Reaper, as sad as that is. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Yeah. Oh, so I guess he would have just died. That was silly. Learn to count, bro. Learn to count. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, I'm not fortunate. Ah, threw that one away. Caught that one as a punt. Good game. So busy thinking about what I could do, what I could not do. Okay. Um, definitely want Bone Crusher Giants. Not. Too impressed with the Crusader in a quick matchup like this. But I'll keep one. Do I want the Circle of Loyalty? What would I do in response? Nothing. Nothing. Epic Downfall. Mm. Epic Downfall could do something. Oh my god. Punted that one. Punted round one. Look at that. Round one. Game one. Punt. I was sitting there thinking about my life total. If I had just tacked with everything. He's probably like, don't attack with everything. I should just smash. Just mash it into his face. We'd be up a game. God, so dumb. I'll be on the play. I'll be mulliganing. Okay. Acceptable. Nice little curve. I don't need the sacred boundaries. Yeah, that game was 100% mine for the taking. <laughs> okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Good game, he says. Yep. Forgot Cry at the Canarium is a card. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I punted game one pretty hard. Pretty hard. Well... Let's see if we can learn how to count for this next one. Jeez. 
I'll tell you what, if I owe two, I'll do another one because that's on me. That's totally on me. That was a win. Oof. That second game was probably a loss, but who knows. Cry of the Carnarian. Tragic. Truly tragic. Punished. A good punt deserves a good punishment. Alright. Maxi. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Let's play first. Uh, okay. Got a nice little curve here. We go knight into black lance. Ideally, then play the second knight. Trigger both, but we'll see how it goes. It's Ember Cleave just kind of hanging out. Should we ever draw red mana? Oh, what a punt. Learn to count, bruh. Learn to count. Hmm. Oh, is it my turn? Okay. Actually, sing. Power level of the deck. We'll see. Hmm. Temple of Deceit, eh? Sure. <laughs> All right. Ooh, still on the same plan, unless something changes. Hmm. Not bad. Go get the Midnight Reaper out there and go ahead and attack with everybody. Ideally, we top deck a second red source and just Ember Cleave's face off this turn, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Good news is we have nice little Wrath Protection built in. Bad news is... Mm, we're very reliant on drawing that second red source, but there are a lot of them in here. Come on, opponent. What you got for me? Worst case scenario, we don't draw the second red source. We can just. Here we go. What's he got? Show me what you got. So, Shadow of the Sky isn't happening anytime soon. Oh, that is reasonable. Let's draw a card. Find me that red source and scoop the game. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm thinking. Probably going to go with our anti control plan and just see how that works. Hmm, I may regret taking them all out, although I normally do. Um, I, I guess Ritual of Soot would be what we're combating here. I don't know the sound it makes. Yeah, let's go with our anti-control plan here. I mean, Cry of the Carnarium is a thing we have to keep in mind, but we'll see. It was a weird, weird scoop. Not gonna lie, weird scoop. Hmm, what do you got? Show me what you got. <sighs> Although I just didn't slam that time. Lesson in outthinking yourself. Sometimes it is just right to turn your board sideways and just go, ugh. Cry the carnarian. All right, see how we do. <laughs> it would seem our deck is in a mulligan mood tonight. It's already a mulligan to six, but come on, lands. Lands, people. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay. Who's gonna go? Um, I guess I could just be super greedy and ditch a land. Yeah, I don't want to ditch threats against control. We'll draw more lands, theoretically. Who's a good boy? He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yep, you got to agree. My turn. Hey, look at that. We drew a land. What are the odds? Come on, don't get buggy at me. Pow. We're going to lead into Stormfist Crusader. Like I said, the scary things. Hmm. Scary things we have to worry about usually. Now Cry the Carnarium's got me paranoid, but we'll see what he does. Thought Erasure. Sure. Imagine Agonizing Remorse. Now oh, he's got a sweeper of some kind, so we'll lead with Inspiring Veteran. Ugh. I imagine everything's going to get destroyed here in a second, so let's just go with the beef. That way, if he does cry the Carnarium here, we can just say, I mean, right. Castle Umberth looking a little silly. He left it on top, whatever it is. All the mana we need. Let's not draw any more lands this game. Okay, we may have one more red source, but other than that, no. Interesting. I sense a ritual of soot, but we'll see what happens. He knows my hand is a little weak at the moment. See what he does. He just lets me attack. Hmm, what do we do if he lets me attack? Obviously, we attack, but. Gone, opponent. What do you got in your hand that you're debating? I'm just gonna hold off. It's probably a little silly, but if he does have Ritual of Soot, I'd like to follow it up with uh, Worthy Knight into Stormfist Crusader next turn so that I have a board again. If he doesn't have Ritual of Soot, I'm looking a little silly, but better safe than sorry, right? Hmm. Be interesting. Hey, look, it's a Ritual of Soot. What are the odds? Hope he doesn't have two. <laughs> Come out of it with five power still. If he has another ritual, we might be in trouble. Ah, that's a beating. Bye, Knight of the Ebon Legion. That's what he was debating doing last turn. Got it. Let's draw some cards. Thief of Sanity or Murderous Rider? Well, obviously we're going after the Rider. So all he's got left is a Thief of Sanity. I got to trade with the veteran, take four, go down to three. That's still lethal. Actually, we'll go down to two, won't we? If I draw a red source, we'll be in good shape. Oh, we drew like a murderous rider? No, we're going for the crusader. Ah, tyrant scorn. Interesting. That's what we got. Send them in. 
Don't. I mean, the good news about this deck is I don't have to worry about a Dream Trawler popping up anymore. Sometimes you draw your hate, and it's just good. You know, every now and again. Woo! Stuff. All right, keep it up. Ooh. Man, should not have lost that first. Well, probably would have lost. Well, no, should not have lost. So dumb. It's going to haunt me all night. Mm, okay. Oh boy, here we go again. Early night and two. It's time to be a knight and do it right. Ooh, Esper. Cry the Carnarium is still a thing that could happen. Nah, there's no way to do it. Oh, we're just gonna go... Hmm. So we still don't know what we're up against here. I'm gonna go... Yeah, since we still don't know what we're up against, I'm going to play the knight and hold up the murderous rider because this could be hero or something. Okay. Well, now the opening is there for the circle of loyalty. So it's definitely Esper Control. Yeah. It's not a... <laughs> well, that was silly. It's okay, though. We did it uh, so we can pump him, of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Punts aplenty. Read the card, bro. The Time Reveler, sure. No, not my nightly, my legend. Don't a double white. Well, now I do. Rather bust, bro. Rather bust. Opponent missed some land drops there. We got pretty fortunate. Oh, he missed eight land drops. That's all it takes. Circle of loyalty is better than I give it credit for when it pops up. Okay, so same basic idea. He's probably bringing in more sweepers. Well, he's playing Asper, so we know he has a fair amount one way or the other. Yeah, probably can't bank on Circle of Loyalty, and then two Stormfist Crusaders. So between that and the Paragon, I just like that the Paragon's a 3-1 uh, with Flash. Breakable Formation does look a little silly in the face of the Time Raveler, now that I think about it. That might have been an oversight on my part. Maybe that's why I went with Gideon originally. He doesn't do anything to turn. He enters the battlefield, but he survives. Doesn't get bounced. Yeah. Might have been a bit of a mistake on my part, but that's okay. 
could just leave the unbreakable format. No, let's not just get scared of friggin' time traveler. Jeez. But it is something to think about. Had not considered that as I was mumbling to myself. So I had Gideon Blackblade, as I mentioned earlier, but um, it might have actually just been better to run um, him over Unbreakable Formation if only because of the Time Raveler. Something to consider. That's probably what my original line of thought was, but meh. The only other thing I liked about Unbreakable Formation is it did not require Double White. As you can see, Double White. <laughs> double White is a... Uh, one of those things that we kind of need, but kind of don't always have. It's a weird little gray area. All right. Your love is like Berserker. Would you like some... No, I'm going to keep it PG. Keep it PG. Would you like some Motown Funk Berserker? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, look at that. It's a pretty sweet curve. You like he. See what he does with this one. He liked the last one. He did not like this one. Um, Let's we'll just go with the Worthy Knight route. He kills it, which is fine. Legion's end. Always with the Legion's end. Sure. All right. Um, I don't want to walk into a ritual of soot. Could just go veteran into... Or Knight of the Ebon Legion into Black Lace end of turn. I think I like that better. That's all. Let's go to Black Lace. That way, if he has a Shatter the Sky or something similar, Discovery for sure. Orgone Tomb. All right, now I'm very confused. Okay. I follow the plan. Hmm, that's interesting. But I think I just want to attack and pump here. Let's see. So three. Uh, seven, eight, knock another ten. Not susceptible to board wipe. Pump my dudes. Yeah. Yeah, now he it's kind of shatter the sky or bust. I can follow it up with two more threats. The Time Raveler. Did not see that coming. Sure. Reasonable. You're a choo-choo coming. I'm going to have to mute it here shortly. Okay, well, that's pretty much the best draw. All right, let's see here. Can I kill him? He's at 10. Play this. I'm up to 5, 4, 3, 2... I don't think I can kill him, but I can make it hurt. It's not bad either. Oh, wait, no, that is lethal. Ha 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 ha! He figured out how to count. <laughs> he can count! He can count! He can count! He can count! Okay, where are we at? Sable. Mirror match. Come on, Sable. Show me what you got. It's a little clunky, but I don't mind it. 
on the um, on the draw. Bleh. Uh, double tournament ground. Let's see how this works out. I can't play Swift M, but I can play everything else in my hand. It's an interesting one. Eat it, boss. Ooh, temple. A lot you can learn from a temple. What do I like more? It's probably not going to kill my stuff until... We go turn one knight, turn two champion, or turn one knight, turn two black lace. I think in that instance, the champion does more damage. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's do it. It's the worst that could happen. Teamer, oh. Team or Adventures. This is going to be worse than I expected. I'm still going to go with the Black Lace. Maybe he'll just shrug. I don't know, make 1-1s. One it's kind of not having first strike. It's kind of annoying. Yep. Oh boy, a single, um, a single stomp, and we're like out of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teamer Adventures, eh? Okay, didn't get red mana. That's good. He's spooky. I'm sensing a growth spiral. That one. But it could be anything. Oh, he's not going to sweep us. I'm going to go for the veteran and try to get some damage in while we can. I mean, he might sweep us. Brazen Borrower, I imagine. Hits the haste. Oh, he hits both of them. Wow. <sighs> That's not annoying or anything. Cool. Cool. Sure, sure, sure. So Agonizing Remorse definitely coming in. Shadow Sphere. Sure. And Chandra. Okay. All right, so we scooping. Probably scooping here. Probably scooping here. Probably scooping here. Dude, not you. Probably a scoop in here. Yep. <sighs> yep. All right. Blah, 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 blah. That's what anyone who stands in your way does. Run for the hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need agonizing remorse. So these cards are good, but I don't know how good. So circle of loyalty is out. Four more cards. Hmm. Not as important here. I cut Ember Cleave. It's one of my only ways to win through this junk. Aspiring Veteran's probably not going to be at his best here, so I can see trimming one of those. Everything else serves a purpose. Do I want the Epic Downfalls? Nah, they go just... Nah, nah. We'll go like this. <sighs> Unfortunate Teamer. Teamer Adventures. Boo! All right, Sable. Let's do this. Let's do it. 
I will be on the play. Yeah, okay. This one does stuff. What's going on over there, opponent? Mo, 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 mo. So we go Fervent Champion into Worthy Knight into Black Lace, a Paragon, and hope it's good enough. Four. He molds a four. Well, let's see if he has a sweep. Yes, that's a fervent champion. All right, let's see what he does. Definitely gonna go with Castle Lockthwain next turn, so I can hopefully. Yuck. So to say, so I can hopefully either agonizing remorse or noxious grass, but we shall see. Well, I guess that's good. Jeez, has to say a single bone crusher giant. We're done. Theoretically, should I have brought in my bone crushers in this matchup? The stomp's not going to do anything, but at least the creature's big enough to survive his shenanigans. Yuck. He's either got, yeah, uh, Brazen Borrower or another Stomp that he's mulling about. Yeah. Let's find out, shall we? Let's get the Black Lace Paragon back in my hand. Sure. Cool. Unfortunate, though. Hmm. What's he got? Bone Crusher Giant, sure. He knows what I have, so. He knows what I have. There's literally zero point in hiding it. Yeah, there's no reason for me to do anything. Just be patient. The Brazen Borrower can't hurt me anymore. If he rips something better, I have Noxious Grasp. If he doesn't, Fay of Wishes. Sure. Let's see. Two, four. I can hit him for seven next turn. Hmm. Sure. That's a fervent champion. Three, six, seven, eight. That is not lethal. It would have been.
good enough. Good game to you too, sir. Shadow Spear. Hmm. Seem to work well enough, although I should probably just turn the murderous riders into epic downfall. The riders are threat, but how often is that gonna come into play? Eh. Okay, well, let's get rid of one Ember Cleave and bring back just one a murderous rider. Bourbon champion, pull and wait. I haven't seen any sweepers, not to say there won't be any. I wonder if this is better than Ember Cleave in this matchup. As weird as that sounds. He has a lot of bounce and a lot of goofy stuff, but Ember Cleave is Ember Cleave. No, there's never a reason to take out Ember Cleave. Are keeping the Agonizing Remorse on the draw? Yeah, most certainly so. I'm gonna keep the Ember Cleave over the rider. I can see it going both ways. Mm, Fervent Champion with Death Touch. It's a pretty nasty little combo. He didn't have a sweeper to fetch. That's kind of telling. Well, no, he has a Chandra. He just didn't have enough mana for it. Uh, yeah, totally. One drop. Agonizing, agonizing Remorse. Let's get him, champion. He did a great job last game. Yeah, if he goes... I mean, he molded four. That's the other thing. I, I don't think this matches... I mean, I think this is a very bad matchup, but he did mold a four. Yep. Got the Clover. That's annoying. But there's not much we can do, so... Got Agonizing Remorse. Gotta take whatever is the worst card for us. Ether Gust times two. Well, that's definitely the worst. <laughs> got a double Brazen Borrower to worry about, but I'm just gonna Agonizing Remorse first. See what you do. Nice. Actually, this will fizzle it, won't it? Yes, it will. Hey, no. Well, yeah, it does matter, actually. Nope. Because now if he bounces it, it'll actually stop the original... Uh... Do it. Yep. Nope, Ether Gust. I guess that's fine. Yeah, there's a Baden Borrower out of here. We'll see what he draws. Alright, we're in like Flint. We definitely want him to hit the champ. I hope this doesn't hurt me, but... It's debatable I could have gone for a pump there, but Fervent Champion plus Black Lace is just too good not to do. Another Lucky Clover. So far, so good. Now we can go... Assuming I didn't just draw him into something good. Go Fervent Champion. Okay, here we go. All he needs is like something. Doesn't even matter what. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, that's game. Ha 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 ha! Don't tap out against me, fool. 
Let's do it. Oh boy. He did have a rare. Shoujo. <laughs> He's really getting into it. What's the last one? What else are you going to get for me? That is card advantage, baby. Triple wish. Get him before the train gets us. That one. Good game, opponent. Adios. Yeah, don't tap out against this deck. It might just kill you. <laughs> Alrighty. Three and one. So salty about that first game, but that's what happens when you punt. You remember. You learn. You say learn to count. Smash your creatures in. <sighs> he already mulligan. I'm on the draw. Yeah, all right. I hate hands like this. Lord hands are very, very rarely good. Like, very rarely good. Like, if this is anything, we're probably dead. Especially anything that starts with a mountain and a bourbon champion. Because that means these guys are not going to live. You know? Paying life, not too good either. <sighs> yep. Nice. Okay. Well, he's not attacking. That's a good sign. <sighs> um, I think I'll wait till next turn to attack. There's no real benefit to be gained here. Attack for two. He takes two at 18. Nah, nah. If I keep him back, he can at least still block a fervent champion. Can't do anything about the Steamkin, though, which is unfortunate. But we have a good sideboard plan in this situation. Kind of. Should be a good sideboard plan. Hmm. Come on. Show me what you got. Three cards in hand, opponent. What could it be? What could it be? Light up the stage hard cast. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's time to just start getting in there. He double blocks. Good for him. <laughs> Co-inspiring veteran. Do your thing. Inspire. Probably like, what is this? It's Jank, my man. Jank. It's the name of the game. It's Jank. This could be a painful turn, but it could be a painful turn back, too. I'm not going to take anything. No blocks. I don't want to trade my Inspiring Veteran for a shock. No, thank you. Especially when next turn's looking painful. Ow. Hit 14. So I technically have lethal, but then again, he's about to do stuff. Doing stuff is never the right way to go. Salamander and this dude. Jeez. Right, now we might be in trouble. Damn, Steamkin. So much better. Hmm. Whoa. Hello there. One turn. Well, let's see. Attack with everything. Block. Block, block. Or not. He takes six. Throw this guy in here, and he takes... I don't think it's enough. Dang it, I'm one turn short. One turn too early on this one. Throw it on the knight. Blocks the knight with everything.
don't think there's any other way around it. So if I play the veteran, I can't play the ember cleave. And on room two, I'm I could wait a turn. And I have to chump here. He still gets an attack in. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try to survive one more turn. I mean, it's... I'll have to block the annex. But that's the only thing you can really attack with that I see. The knight can take down anything else. So if he just sends the annex, do I just say okay? That's a shock in his hand I don't want to. You think? Do we think he drew a shock is the question here. So if I say no blocks, I guess I could block with the knight, attack him back for 12. No, because I can just block with all of his infinite tokens. Ow. Let's see if he drew the shock. Okay, that makes things complicated, but the good news is F it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate. Hmm. Is there anything I'm missing here? Double strike, kills, let's see, seven. So four and seven's eleven. Not enough. I could have played the Castle Emberth, but that wouldn't have mattered either. All right. Too slow. One turn too slow on the Ember Cleave. Unfortunate. Alright. Let's go Bone Crusher Giant. Take out Circle and. I don't like Stormfist Crusader in this matchup. But. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just bring in the Bone Crushers and see how we go from here. Tricky matchup. Definitely need the removal for Steamkin. If the Steamkin can be kept control, I think we can win the fair battle. But if they get the upper hand in the unfair battle, then we are probably screwed. Yeah, well. That's life. That's what all the people say. Come on, snake eater. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I will be on the play. We can do better. I guess that counts as better. Between the Ember Cleave and the Castle Locked Wayne. But. This might backfire big league, but we'll see. <sighs> it's his one drop. I don't get any of mine. I got like eight. Moral of the story, probably go with the... So you get his stomp too, and I don't get mine? Unfortunate. This time he attacks with the champion. I mean, Lava Coil. Sigh. Yep. <laughs> Not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. But then again, he's not playing other stuff, so I guess we got that going for us, which is nice. Okay. Sure. So it begins. <laughs> Definitely should not be drawing this many lands. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That's a hard no there, dog. Let's 
starting to regret taking out Circle of Loyalty right about now because I hit four lands and I'm not dead. I guess Epic, uh, Epic Downfall could have come in for this, but there really isn't much in this deck that it hits, unfortunately. This creature can't block. C -c -c combo <sighs> Not really where I want to be right now. Well, this was a good one. This was a fun one, folks. I mean, there's hope. There's always hope, but wow. Not with the board looking like this. The attacks, I'm just gonna block with the one one. Doesn't get boosted by anything, doesn't do anything. Oh great, here we go. Alright. Uh <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. Uh, yep, it was a good one, folks. It was a good one. Hmm, yes, I'm here. Can you equip it to mine? Creature you control. Sure, man, whichever one you want. Oh, give me something. That's a land. Oh my glory, are you serious right now? Did I, did I really draw this many lands? That's insane. Except light up the stage too. Sure, why not? I don't care. I'm just gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Super Secret Tech has arrived. Shoot the champion, play the giant, and then go, huh. I mean, that's what we got. I should be at I, I should be at nine if I cared enough to. Uh... Oh my god, he played Castle Emperor. <laughs> okay, we get it. We get it. He's dead. He's already dead. Stop. Leave him alone. Yeah, there he is. Fabulous. Who are we throwing it on? Ah, oh, fantastic. Sure. Well, let's see here. Do I have to block it with everything or I'm dead? I think I do. It's just kills, then everything's dead, but then I live. I obviously can't not block it. Three gets over, then two, so I have to at least block it with... Now what am I hoping to draw here? Is there anything I could draw that would actually do something? Five, six. Yep. I'm not sure what I'm playing to here, but we'll see another card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow. Down to two. Hmm. Oh, did. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That last round got me thinking. <laughs> so, eh, eh. Not the best, not the worst. It was a profit. Can't be upset with the profit, you know? Woo! Stuff, stuff, stuff. Woo, that's not the first. I have plenty of those. Anyways, let's look at the deck. So, Mardu Knights. I like it. 
I like it, I like it. I don't think I was valuing Circle of Loyalty high enough. This is probably better than I give it credit for in this deck, especially in a world where, I mean, you can easily play it turn four. Easily. Each knight you control, yeah. Easily. Maybe I'm undervaluing it. I always thought it was just going to be a game one card and then just get out, but eh. Stormfree's Crusader I didn't like as much as I wanted to. Maybe this should be something else. As far as the sideboard goes, yeah, the Unbreakable Formation, the more I thought about it, the more it should just be Gideon. Because there's a very good chance that a certain Time Raveler comes along. I still like the Bone Crusher Giant plan. Maybe Epic Downfall should just be Lava Coil. Some kind of split between the two. I'm trying to think of everything that Downfall hits that Coil doesn't. It's like the Beast, which I have Noxious Grasp for. Maybe we should just do something like this. Uh, yeah, maybe just something like this. Maybe just Lava Coil instead, because Lava Coil does seem better. Converting mana costs three or greater. So, I mean, it hits Beanstalk Giant, but I can't imagine I'm bringing them. Well, maybe. It hits Beanstalk Giant. Converting mana costs three or greater. Duh, that's not what I wanted. Downfall. The exile target creature with converted mana cost three or greater. So the only things it doesn't hit are like the the weenie decks. Anything red, anything black, a lot of white. So a lot of monocolored decks. Just fast aggressive decks. Lava coil better against those decks. Eh, maybe. Maybe. It's something to experiment with. Epic downfall. Epic downfall versus lava coil. Uh, aside from that, everything seemed pretty solid. I mean, we had some pretty sweet curves there. Punted one game, notoriously. Punted one game. Other than that, the deck actually seems pretty solid. Uh, this one might be worth giving a go around now that the metagame's kind of uh, shifting around. Granted, we obviously didn't play against any Simic anything, and that's the deck. Can we beat Simic anything? Eh, after board, it gets better. Agonizing Remorse brings us a long way towards making that matchup better. And we are actually just quick enough to be able to run over them if they stumble enough. Yeah, this is definitely a good framework for the beginning of the deck. Don't undervalue Circle of Loyalty. It's pretty good, but oh well, that is all for now. I will see everybody at LA Tour. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the games. You want to show me some support? Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow me below. On Tuesday and Thursday nights, I go live. I'd love to have you stop by. Also, the Discord below. You want to hop in there? Give me your two cents on this list. You want my two cents on your list? I'm always open to talk about this stuff because I love this stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you when I'm going live. Otherwise, I'll just see you LA Tour.